What's up everybody? So today in this video, I'm going to be talking about two new Airtable automations features and those features are trigger on a schedule and also find records action. So those are two really new, very exciting. They're currently in the alpha stage. So if you're watching this video a good time in the future, they might be a little bit more developed than this, but this will give you the introduction to those two new Airtable automation action and trigger. And if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS, and what we do is we help business owners probably just like you, help them optimize their information systems. So stuff like Airtable, Asana, Slack, as well as the glue of all those systems with like Airtable automations, Zapier, and Integramat. So if you're interested in any services, you can check out the link in the description. You can request a consultation from me or someone on my team. But without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. So I'm gonna be showing you this in our sales CRM and I'm gonna show you both the trigger and the action. Now these are brand new as of, I believe they released these on January 22nd and this is the day the video is going out. So these are brand new as of today. I just saw them added um, earlier today. And so here they are. So basically this first one, it's going to be triggering on a schedule. So if you think, maybe think about if you want to send a weekly email to yourself with all of the tasks that you have due this week. Or if you have a weekly email you wanna to send to a client with all of their the tasks that have been completed in the past week, you can set that up on an individual level for those people. So those are kind of some of the ones that you can do. Now you can get as specific as sending it at a certain day at a certain time, or you can trigger it like every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes, every, any hours during the day, like every one hour, two hours, up to 24 hours a day. Um, so I'll show you that right now. So the automation is, we'll name this one, new automation features. And so now the trigger. So this trigger that I'm gonna show you, they just added this, it's at a scheduled time. Just click that one and I can walk you through this. So this, action there's really two types so there's at regular intervals or on days of the week so on days of the week is the easiest one to understand so every week at 6 p.m i'm going to do this action or every monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday at 2 p.m or 2 a.m or whatever time you want Maybe we'll say 7 a.m. So just before you get into work, and this also notes your time zone. So whichever time zone you're in, it will send it at that time zone. That's a pretty nice feature. So if you're doing this for a client, you want to make sure that you're in their time zone to make sure everything's going out in their time. But you can run that test and it should always come back pretty good on this one because it's Airtable's features. So that's the first one that you could do. You could send an email, send update a record, create a record, do, really do any of the actions that are down here. You could do any of these on a certain time. You could post a tweet, really do anything that you really want to. So that's the first type of trigger for this. The other type is on regular intervals. And so this can happen in hours or minutes and it can happen up to one day. So every 24 hours or every 12 hours, so maybe 5 a.m., 5 p.m., or whenever you set this off, you can set it up so it triggers every one hour or every two hours, or there's four types for the minute. You can set it every 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, or 60 minutes. Now, as Dan Falar has pointed out in the Built on Air Slack community, you wanna be careful with the every 15 minute trigger because that would add about 2,800 records per month. So that would, or that would trigger, use 2,800 of your automations every month just by running this automation every 15 minutes. So make sure and be careful with that. But I expect this to change a lot because while this is great because it triggers every 15 minutes, it is not great in all of the actions that you can connect it to. So what I'm talking about there is you might want to be trigger a certain record at a certain time and you might want to trigger like multiple things simultaneously but one of the limitations that I found with this is you would have to set up multiple automations to do multiple people so like 
if I wanted to send an email to myself with my tasks for the day, I can do that, but I have to set up one automation for me. And if I want to do it for two of my employees, then I have to set up two other automations from the way I understand it. If you know a different way of doing this, throw it in the comments, but I would have to set up an automation for each person to do it for, and I'll show you why. So say I want to add an action here and I want to find records that I will eventually send in an email. So maybe every, we'll change this instead of at regular intervals, we wanna change on days of the week. So every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, at let's say 5 a.m., I will go ahead and use this also new automation feature, this find records, and it's in the alpha. Um, so it's in the alpha testing stage, so it's apt to change. If you highlight over this, you can see it's an active development, it may break, be removed, or this behavior may change. So I'm hoping it changes and allows for a little bit more customization and so you don't have to create as many automations. But this find record, so for this test, I want to be sending myself every day my, on my tasks that are not done in this tasks table of my sales CRM. So maybe this is in your project management or whatever that may be. So maybe you also want to send yourself all the records that all of the new client opportunities in the opportunities table as well as all of the new tasks for you in the task table. So you can do that in here. And what you would do is you would go in the tasks table, you would add a condition so that the collaborator is yourself. So I'll choose myself in this case. I'll add another condition to where the, let's see if I can find a checkbox field to say that this is not complete yet. So done is undone. So done is blank. So I also want the done to be unchecked because I don't want the records to be done. So I'll add a few of those in here. So wherever I can see some that are attached to my name, which are all of them, I'll throw some duns on here so I don't get these ones in the email. So that's the gist of that. And now I can run that test and we'll find some of those. So now I'll get emailed all of the, my tasks that are not done yet. And you could also add more and more filters in here to say that if there was a due date in here, that it's before the due date or whatever that looks like for you, you can add as many filters in here as you want and it will find all of those records. So that's great. Now what we can do is I can send an email to myself. So if I select my Gmail account, then I can add in here, ben at optimize.com, and we can say new or tasks not complete. And then if you want to add all of those in here, what you can actually do is you can actually add a link to those task URLs. So you can add a link to all those records. So if you come in here, and you add in this message body, so hey, Ben, and then you can come in here and add a some, some of the metadata from those records. So you can come in here from this find records action, press continue, press continue through the records. And now what you can do is you can add all, all of the URLs. So here are the task URLs. And now if you come enter another one, here are the task names. And this is why it gets a little bit annoying because this is all going to be in arrays. And we can also say here are the clients or the opportunities. So we can say here are the task names, here are the associated opportunities, here are the task URLs. So in this one, I will go ahead and add the field values of the task names. So I can come in here, press continue through a few of these, go down to field values and insert the task names. And so now I'll hit enter again. And now if we hit enter here, we can add the associated opportunities. So in that same action, we want to pull in more info from that and we can pull in the opportunities and we can just add the 
names. So we can come down here and add, we can also add the list of record IDs, but that doesn't serve you to read that very well. So we'll add that in there. And now we have who it's going to, the subject, as well as all this information about all of these records that Airtable allowed us to find. So we can run that test and I should get an email over here. I'll bring it up here. So we'll see that test failed. So I'll test that again and I'll go test the records again. And then I'll test this again and see if this is still not working. So this is still in the alpha. It's not entirely all there yet. So we'll try, maybe we'll just try those record URLs and we'll try that. So that ran successfully. So obviously there was something with pulling in some more data in there. I didn't want to do that. But now I can see that in here, I will shrink this down so you guys can see it, but I got an email with all of those record IDs. So in here in my inbox, I can see these are all the task URLs. And if we pulled in that data with those linked records and everything, the, that would all be in here. So I anticipate they're still bugging some of this out with pulling in all of those records, but this is the initial use cases of both the trigger run it automation on a schedule as well as the action find records and then importing those into an email. Now I know there might be some talk of like sending, passing those record IDs into a script and maybe from the script you can separate those out and send them to multiple other people and not just have this for one. I personally, some, some of the things that I would really love to see this do, I'll go into that now. So what I would love to see this do is maybe instead of having it only to be able to send to one email, have it trigger for every, trigger this record at a scheduled time or every day, maybe every, every, every day at 5 p.m. So I change these to every day at 5 p.m. every single day for everybody in the opportunities who's in proposal, maybe I want to send them an email that says some certain thing. And so it doesn't matter who's in proposal, but I want to send them a very customized, a very customized email with very customized information about them as to why they maybe should sign on to a contract with us. So I think it would be very useful to do that. Right now you could send an email to everybody matching proposal, but it wouldn't be able to pull in any of their information and make it really personalized because you could you could send it to multiple people. You could send that array of email addresses, but you wouldn't be able to like say, hey Ben, it would just be, hey, either, hey person, or hey person in one dash proposal. So. I think there's really some good automations you could add in there and being able to trigger a lot of like seven or eight records at one time and having all of those have dependent stuff based on their record happen at the same time. I know this is still in the alpha, so there are probably gonna be more things added to it, but this is the basics of how to use it. Right now you can run it on days of the week or at re regular intervals. So every, if you wanna run it every 15 minutes, you could set up a few of those and use up all your automations pretty fast. Um, and then you can also use this find records to find all these records that match conditions. Basically everything, you can set this up so it'd be like everything that's in a view. And then you could export all those records at the same time. And maybe you could set up an automation to where that adds the record IDs that it found to a new table and then it triggers based on the record ID in a different table. You could set something like that up, but I hope you gain value from this. If you have something you would like to see with this trigger at a scheduled time, maybe a different use case for this. If you have something that you would like to request to Airtable, throw it in the comments section. I would love to hear your guys' feedback on this, on how maybe how you see yourself using this as well as this find records action, because I really, really wanna see what you guys want because we can provide a lot of feedback to Airtable as a community and get the features that we want added to their product service thing just as we want them. So I highly encourage you to throw a comment. I'll submit any comments that I get to their tables like help forum and request, request those features. But I'd love to hear those in the comments. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, I actually have another full tutorial that I will link right here in the end screen. 
I think you'd really enjoy it. It's all about how to hide linked records in an Airtable form, but still allow them to pick from linked records and forms. It doesn't require any additional software. It can be done completely in your Airtable, and it just uses a simple Airtable automation, and it will automatically link whatever they send through, whatever they pass through that form, it'll automatically link to their record. And so it's a little bit advanced, but I think even a beginner could learn how to do it by watching that video. So highly encourage you to go check out that, uh, that automation tutorial right there on how to hide, field, hide a linked record in a Airtable form. And without further ado, I hope you really enjoyed this video and have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.